Let's roll. It's time to go racing here in Watsonville. And it didn't last very long. We got a multi-car schmazzle in turn number one. Oh, and problems right in front of us down there on Mike DeHoog's camera, and we're gonna go yellow. Three wide for the lead. Cars bouncing everywhere, sliding down the back straight away. Oh, and monster trucking there as Short goes over the 57C. Four. On the 57, get some uh, Chance making things happen on the bottom. Schrader making things happen. Three wide, tough break for the 42. And again, it's a traffic jam here. Schrader now driving around Thomas into the lead as a big bicycle there from the 42. Great racing here, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Nattenstead gets into it with the 49 at Tricky Troy Folger in the battle for the fourth and final transfer. And we do go yellow. yellow. Battling through one and two. Who's gonna win that battle for the fourth and final transfer? We'll find out. As the 55 of Cass gonna win the heat race. 14 Pia Porter, three wide across the line. And I don't really know how it played out. As the seven JD and Jake Dewsbury does a spinorama and brings Five. along. Passed away in 2010, which led to the creation of this event now in its 12th running. His dad, Jim, passed away in 2018, changing the race from the Pat Pettit shootout to the Pettit shootout. Friday night, we wear the color pink in honor of his mom, Pat. Well, tonight, we wear blue to honor his dad, Jim. Both Jim and Jim II were inducted into the West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame in 2021 as the first father and son in the Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming out to the 12th annual Pat and Jim Pettit shootout as we remember them and honor them with these memorial laps. A pile of cars behind them. And as they battle, the top three are going to try to drive away and hide. Oh, and they collect each other, spinning and sideways there. And the two at Kelly Campanile is stopped. And All right, getting this thing underway for 12 laps. Here in our B main event, number one, the IMC Sport Modifieds didn't last very long. They're three wide still down the front straightaway. And Crompy from the Pomo in the seven, the Dales guitar entry, goes to number one and they spin. Synchronized spinning from fourth and that was exciting. I'm sorry, not the 2C, the 42B of Jeremy Hoff. Oh no, um, oh no, we're flipping. We flipped a car on the front straightaway and we're collecting more cars. Ethan Killingsworth out of Wairika just flipped. And he's got the window net down. The driver has put the window net down, which is the universal sign in motorsports that he's got at least some of his devices about him to be able to do that. Run out earlier, the Wairika driver. And you've got three wide leaders stuck behind three wide lap cars. Big collision. A big collision behind Troy Morris. I'm not sure who exactly was in that. The 14 of Hagio was one of the cars involved. And we've got a ton of damage on the 92 LS friend in the 12th Pat and Jim Pettit Memorial Shootout. And we are green. Off and running into turn number one. Already got a car spun out. Dale Kagey right there. And Kagey credited with the lead on lap number 16. Morris bounces off the infield. And Kagey, Kagey gonna try to pull away. And Kagey trying to get his fourth consecutive win in a pettit race. He won the Friday and Saturday night last year, trying to win the Friday and Saturday night this year. Kale Kanky 
Fast Freddie Ryland, Troy Morris Jr. And a little battle there with the 212 of Spain Howard and the 17 of Blankenship, couple of Bakersfield drivers. Side-by-side -side racing briefly there for second. The seven of Ryland assumed second over Morris. Kale Kanky right down to the wire. Who's going to win this? The seven of Ryland into the lead on lap 31. Side-by-side, -side, they go down the back straightaway. Kanky's been making the outside work well the whole night. Can he keep it up out of turn number four? White flag, and it's Ryland. Ryland at the white flag. Fast Freddie Ryland out of Brentwood. Going to bring it down the back straight away. Through turns three and four. Fast Freddie Ryland wins the 12th Patton Jim Bennett shootout for the Sport Modifieds. Ryland wins it over Kanky, Spain Howard, Blankenship, and Troy Morris. 53 non-stop laps from the Ocean Speedway in Watsonville, California. The 12th annual Pat and Jim Bennett Memorial Shootout. We are racing. They work it off into turn number one, the 20 of Cody Burke, the 17 of Nick DiCarlo. Side-by-side -side racing at the front of the field and give it to Burke on lap number one. As the 17 of DiCarlo is clear here on lap number four. Top three cars break away. Multi-car skirmish in turn number one involves Slaney, Pettit, Lipke, and others. As the six of Jim Bennett, the second going off into the pits, and he was right in the middle of that. Uh, sheet metal kind of folded under uh, of that new body on that car. And there he is. Jim Bettit the second is back in this race. All the way at the back, but with a shot. With four down, 49 to go. I think everybody involved is all back on the track. We're going to restart all 22 modifieds, it looks like. Four down, 49 to go. So you see the lap traffic on your screen. The 17 of DiCarlo. The 07 of Morris, they're nearly side by side as they go to lap Guglielmoni. 07 of Morris to the inside on the back stretch. Morris has a shot here on lap 17. Troy Morris, the third, the Bakersfield driver, into the lead on lap number 18. This has been a career weekend for Troy Morris, the third, and he wants to drive away and hide. Troy Morris not only has the lead, he's pulling away. The lead is 2.8 seconds for Troy Morris right now. In the 07, that's a phenomenal advantage for the driver of the 07. A whole host of cars, about a seven car pack in front of Morris as he bounces around through that little hole in turn one, but keeps it together. And Morris's lead, even in this significant traffic, is growing over right there, the 17 of DiCarlo as the lead now at the stripe has grown considerably. The Pat and Jim Bennett Memorial Shootout. There he is, the 07, the accelerated urgent care entry, accelerating away from the field. As we see the 66 of Kevin Pendergrass going to the pits. We are now 40 down, 13 to go. And the next car in front of him is the 1B of Tim Balding. That's your seventh place car running in front of the 07 of Morris. He will have lapped all but the top six once he gets to Balding. Seven to go for Troy Morris the third.
Troy Morris Jr. for Accelerate Urgent, or Troy Morris the third, excuse me, for Accelerate Urgent Care and Advanced Sign Contractors. Rolls it out of four and accepts the white flag. One more trip around Watsonville. Troy Morris trying to bring it home. Tr Troy Morris into turns three and four for the final time. Troy Morris the third, an absolutely outstanding performance. He wins the 12th Pat and Jim Pennant Memorial Shootout from Ocean Speedway. Driving away to a six second advantage and he's gonna celebrate in the infield. How about it for Troy Morris? Troy Morris, your winner, Nick DiCarlo, Cody Burke, Bobby Hoag the Ford, Trevor Fitz, Troy Folger, Tim Balding, James Lipke, Chris Crompy, and Jim Pettit the second, your top 10 finishers. It is Dex TM3, Troy Morris the third, as he climbs out of the race car. He slams the hood, he's pumped, man. Race fans, make some noise.